I'm Jeff Zarnett, and this is Software Career Growth. Today we're going to be talking about four reasons why you shouldn't, as a manager, cancel your one-on-ones with your team members, and one reason why you should. Today's topic is about being a manager and one of your most important responsibilities as a manager is having these one-on-one meetings with your team. You might call them something different in the company that you work for, but I'm talking about the kind of meeting where it's just you and a person who is your direct or your indirect report. And this isn't really about what the content of that should be, how long they should be, how often uh, you want to have those. That's a separate video. But in this case, I want to talk about the reasons why you should not cancel those one-on-ones with your team. And I understand, right? As a manager, you are very busy. There are a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things you have to look after. You're running from the strategy meeting to this planning meeting to a hiring interview with another candidate who might be joining your team. All of those things are important and it's easy to feel like, well, this one-on-one, if I cancel it, it only affects one person and it's fine. We have another one next week or the week after that anyway. But I wanna give you some reasons why I think you really shouldn't do that. First reason, and I think this is the most important reason, it tells the employee that they don't matter. What they have to say isn't important. You're too busy to talk to them. You aren't interested in hearing what they have to say. Employees come to one-on-ones with different things in mind. Sometimes they don't come with anything in mind, but frequently they have something that they want to talk about uh, or something that they want to hear about or just whatever has gone on this past week that they're thinking about. And when you cancel that meeting and you say, well, we'll talk next time, we'll talk next week, you're saying that whatever that employee wants to talk about, whatever's on their mind isn't important. So you're far too busy for whatever it is they want to say. And that's an unpleasant experience uh, when you're on the receiving end of it. Um, In particular, when a one-on-one has been established as, okay, this is an opportunity for us to talk, for us to discuss whatever's on our mind, to exchange information or feedback or anything like that, and it's canceled. Well, I can maybe save what has been canceled for next time, but maybe it won't be relevant then, or maybe I'll forget, or maybe I will just think, all right, I'm, I'm not gonna get whatever help I'm looking for here. I have to do something else. So that's not good. You want to be reliable. You want to show people in your team that you are there, that you are listening, that you care, and canceling it sends the wrong message. And it's very hard for employees uh, who work for you to push back on the cancellation, right? There's inherently a power dynamic between uh, you and people who are your direct reports. Whether your company is very hierarchical or not, that dynamic does exist. And so if you ask people, you know, is it okay if I cancel this? You may hear a yes, but they don't really want to say yes. It's more like they feel like they can't say no. So for that reason, it is very important to be mindful of the fact that if you're canceling this one-on-one, you are maybe not sending the message that uh, you think you're sending. With that said, if you you have to cancel a one-on-one for some reason, don't make it a habit, right? Once is an outlier, frequently is sending a message. So the second reason why you should not be canceling your one-on-ones is you need to be giving feedback to your team on an ongoing basis. And feedback should never be a surprise, uh, or at the very least, it should never be a delayed surprise. It's entirely possible that you wanna give feedback to somebody and they think this went well and it actually didn't. Uh, That kind of thing does happen. But it should never be, oh, we got to the end of the year or the end of the quarter, and all right, now I'm giving you feedback about something that happened several months ago. At that point, the feedback is just most likely no longer actionable. If you want people to be able to take that information and do something with it, it has to be given to them in a timely manner. And moreover, even if the feedback is is totally minor, it's uh, it would be more efficient if you combined uh, the fetch and the update statements in the database whenever you're doing a query. Totally minor, nothing to get worked up about. Nobody's going to be in trouble, nobody's gonna be in a performance improvement plan, um, anything like that uh, over this sort of thing. But if you told the employee three months ago, then 
hey, they could have done that and they would have fewer things to go back and change or they would have had you know, fewer uh, performance problems uh, in, in the code, not personal performance problems, while they were working on it. So giving feedback in a timely manner is extremely important as long as you know, it's actionable. And it's only actionable, really, if it's in a timely manner. Next reason, number three. This is your opportunity to listen to what somebody needs for career growth. As I said earlier, this isn't the video where we're going to talk about what the content of the one-on-ones is, but as a manager, you have a responsibility to be growing the skills of the people in your team or teams. And you need to use your one-on-ones to listen for that and talk to them about it in those one-on-ones. And if you're not doing that, you're not hearing what the person is up to. You're not hearing what they're struggling with, what's going well what they could be working on. And if you're not hearing those things, you can't really take action on it. And it relates back to point two of not being able to give them feedback. And so canceling this one-on-one, you are missing out on an important opportunity to take in that information and to provide a little bit of guidance about how to get them to where they want to go. Fourth reason, this is also your opportunity to find out what's going on. Is there a problem brewing? You won't know that necessarily because someone might not feel comfortable saying that in a meeting in front of the whole team. Uh, They might not be comfortable saying things that are unpleasant or or difficult or hard for somebody to hear. They might not feel comfortable um, approaching the other person directly. Um, This is something that you can help them with. You can moderate the conversation. You can give advice. You can give them some feedback. And when you do this, you gain valuable information that you would otherwise not know. And just as surprises are bad for someone who's in your team in terms of feedback, surprises are bad for you as a manager. You want to know if there is a problem brewing, uh, if there is disagreement with a decision that's been taken, if there is some sort of issue. Um, with third-party integration or working with another team. Knowing those things sooner rather than later is certainly very helpful. And so uh, if you are canceling your one-on-one, you are cutting off an avenue for somebody to give you that kind of feedback. So that's why I would say don't do it. Now, real life obviously happens. You you have a dentist appointment on Wednesday and that's normally the day on which you have a one-on-one with some report. That's fine. You can reschedule it, move it to another day in the week. That's perfectly okay. Um, Rescheduling should be done sparingly. Um, Personally speaking, I like to send people a note, uh, Slack or email saying, is it okay if I reschedule the one-on-one that we have on Thursday because uh, I have someone coming to resurface the floor of the garage and it might be too loud to have a, a Zoom meeting. That sort of thing is okay. I wouldn't like to do it every single week, but I will do it as is necessary. So that kind of thing should be allowed as long as you do it only when it's truly necessary. Similarly, if your regularly scheduled one-on-one is preempted because there's a company all hands that everyone is expected to attend, again, not really your fault, just reschedule the one-on-one for another time that is appropriate and mutually agreeable to both parties. Okay, so what's the one reason why it would be okay to cancel the one-on-one? And that's if somebody, one or both of you, is off work. If you're on vacation this week, don't have the one-on-one meetings. Um, although uh, you might see some LinkedIn stuff where people talk about how, yeah, they were having one-on-ones with their employees where they were skiing the Alps or something. That's not a good precedent to set and that's not being a good role model for your teammates. If you are on vacation, vacation means you are off work. And similarly, that means that you should not be on your laptop or a Zoom call from your phone while you are allegedly taking time off. So that's a valid reason. Similarly, if somebody is out sick, um, again, don't have your Zoom meeting from the hospital bed. Just uh, focus on getting better. That kind of thing is a reasonable explanation for canceling your one-on-one. It gets into a little bit of a gray area if you're going to be off for only part of the week. Say your vacation covers Monday and Tuesday and you would normally have a one-on-one with somebody on Monday. Could you move it later in the week? Probably a good idea. Schedule permitting, right? I expect that for a lot of people, their schedules are very busy uh, and it's not necessarily that easy to find a time that's mutually agreeable. So if it's going to be only a few more days, you might say, all right, I'm on vacation on Monday. We'll just talk next Monday. 
On the other hand, if it's going to be a while, because your next one-on-one -on -one is several weeks later, depending on the cadence that you have them with, then it probably makes sense to move it later in the week, make time for it. And that's generally my recommendation. Make time for the one-on-ones, because they really matter. And like I say, canceling them is just not a good idea. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.